Hey, happy holidays, everybody. Welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Get a appropriate beer for the season, although not here in Florida. This is Sweater Weather, winter warmer ale from Lakewood Brewing. They're out of Garland, Texas. 7.5 ABV. I looked up on their website and they're calling this a Belgian winter warmer. And it's certainly, I, you know, untapped in all those sites are calling it an, a quad. And as you can see from the pour, Definitely has the dark appearance and big, big frothy head of a Belgian dark strong or quad or whatever you want to call it. Although 7.5, oddly enough, is actually a little light for a Belgian quad. Uh, so let's give it a whiff. Yeah, um, it definitely smells like a Belgian. I'm getting a very phenolic character on here. Clovey, almost a little smoky, um, maybe a little chocolatey too. Like dark chocolate, not not sweet milk chocolate. I'm trying to pick out any hops. I mean, if they're using some kind of continental or noble hops, like that would kind of enhance or complement the the spice character. And I I assume I, this this aroma is quite familiar. This this smells a lot like date syrup or Belgian candy syrup or whatever you want to call it. So. I do not get any alcohol though. Nothing that sticks out per se. I, mean, I, I will say. You know, it smells like a, you know, fairly strong beer, but uh, we'll see how it tastes. Cheers. So I, I mentioned in, in the aroma, I got a little chocolate. I definitely taste a lot more chocolate than, uh, than I smelled. Um, and it does not, and oddly, so it's kind of opposite. On the aroma, I said I was getting like, you know, a big clove and kind of a smoky phenol and a little bit of chocolate. This way, it, it, the, the, the taste is the other way around. So I get kind of a lot more uh, a chocolatey sensation and the whatever that phenolic, uh, clovey, slightly smoky character is, is like way in the background. I'm not sure if there's any actual spices in this. I think that whatever the yeast character is, it's accounting for like all the, the spicy sensation. So I mean, it's like a little clovey, a little, I don't even want to say smoky because it doesn't really taste smoky. It kind of smells it, but um, it's a little clovey, maybe, maybe like a ginger kind of sensation. I definitely do not get orange peel on here. Yeah, so... The palette is kind of like a general dark fruit melange kind of flavor. I mean, if you've ever had the the Belgian candy um, candy syrup, like you know, if you know that flavor, it's that's I would bet a lot of money that, that that's what's accounting for most of the flavor here. And uh, the Bel whatever Belgian yeast strain they're using, uh, you know, it's you know quite phenolic. The good phenols though, not the bad phenols. Uh, I'm not getting much esters though. I'm not getting banana or anything. Mouthfeel is, I'd probably call it about medium, maybe medium full. Uh, it has a very smooth, creamy texture. And for a Belgian dark strong or strong dark, whatever you want to call it, the carbonation is a little low. Usually these types of beers, it's actually, you know, they're big body and highly carbonated. This one is fairly big body and fairly low carbonated. So I'd probably say medium body, medium low carbonation with like a real smooth, creamy texture. Yeah, and like in the aftertaste and in the throat, there's just like the faintest, faintest little bit of like alcohol warmth. And I think a lot of that is also like the phenolic um, character too, just like leaving like a little bit of like a spicy aftertaste. In fact, it finishes I mean, I'd say it finishes kind of dry, but I think a lot of that is actually the alcohol. But yeah, nice, tasty, tasty winter beer. I think this works. It's not, to me, it's not decadent enough to be a dessert beer in and of itself, but it's just like a nice, enjoyable, you know, evening evening beer. Nice uh, lacing on the glass there. I made sure to, I always clean these glasses right before I start filming so they're as clean as possible. Uh, as far as rating, um, it's good. It's not great. It's not blowing my mind. 
but I appreciate what it's doing. So I'm thinking somewhere between three and a half and four, maybe 3.75. I could, I mean, I could honestly go four out of five. I, I don't think I could go higher than that, but I like it. By the way, I forgot to mention, I got this beer on Tavor. Um, I uploaded a video uh, unboxing my huge crate of 25 beers today. Um, so if you want to sign up with Tavor, it's a great way to get, you know, beers you can't get in your local market, all you tickers out there. Um, check the link in the description below. Use my referral code. You're going to get $10 off your first purchase. And let them know that I sent you. All right. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys real soon. All right. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.